Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome back to my channel. I have your tarot horoscope for the season of Gemini, but we're going to focus mainly on Mercury going retrograde from May 19th to June 11th. So these are going to be messages, just short, simple, vague little messages for you to keep in mind while Mercury is in retrograde in Gemini as well. So obviously we're going to be focusing on Mercury. Now, if you don't know how this works, uh, you need to know which house Mercury is in in your chart. If you don't, that's okay. You can intuitively pick a number right now, 1 through 12. The first one. Don't second guess it. Always trust your first instinct. So, let's get started. If you have Mercury in the first house, or if your number is 1, you got the Ten of Cups reversed. Your messages, your all-consuming passion is both self-destructive and dangerous to others. If you have Mercury in the second house, you got the Ace of Pentacles. Your messages, the means are available for material achievement. If your Mercury is in the third house, you got the Six of Swords, which is actually represented by Mercury and Aquarius. Your messages. A, mer a major hurdle has been passed without loss of your dignity and self-respect. If your Mercury is in the fourth house, or if your number is four, you got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Your messages. Mistakes can be made if you're being too timid or shy. If you have Mercury in the fifth house, you have the Seven of Cups reversed. Your messages, oh, and it's represented by Venus, Retrograde, and Scorpio. A difficult choice needs to be made, so be realistic. If your Mercury is in the sixth house, you got the Sun, which is represented by the Sun. Your messages. Your past successful accomplishments are bringing future rewards or will bring future rewards. If your Mercury is in the seventh house, you got the Page of Pentacles reversed. Your messages, a love of luxury can lead to excess and loss. If your Mercury is in the eighth house, you got the Ace of Wands. Having a second look at your prospective goal in life is beneficial. If your Mercury is in the ninth house, you got the Five of Pentacles reversed, which the Five of Pentacles is represented by Mercury and Taurus. It's reversed, so it's retrograde. Your message is, there will be a strong need to make a new start in life. If you have Mercury in the tenth house, you got the Seven of Wands which is represented by Mars and Leo. Your messages, abilities develop through sustained effort and sacrifice. If your Mercury is in the 11th house, you got the world reversed. Major Arcana card. Your messages, happiness cannot be measured in terms of society's approval. And last but not least, if you have Mercury in the 12th house, you got the Ace of Swords reversed. Your message is, check details and make sure your future plans are in order. So, that was your tarot horoscope for the month of Gemini. I know those were really vague, but they're supposed to be vague. They're for you to write down and remember when Mercury is driving you crazy when it goes retrograde. So get ready, get these messages written down, and post them by your bed, post them on your refrigerator, post your message somewhere where you'll see it, and it'll help you through the season of Gemini with Mercury in retrograde. If you would like your own personal reading, you can go to my website, www.chrisstrickland.net, and it's $18 for a 10-card Celtic reading, and I hope to hear from you guys. And I will see you guys at the end of the Gemini season for your Cancer Horoscope. Bye, guys.